What's up guys, I'm Jason, this is the Free Burger Garage, and today we are doing a maintenance on this FXR behind me, particularly my FXR, and it is a maintenance that I haven't been wanting to do, it's just finally struck me last year, and I've just been dragging my feet to get it done, because it's just not that fun, and I don't want to nail it out because I don't want to ruin my exhaust, but it's definitely needed. And I wanted to do a how-to, because if this works, this is the video that you can use on yours. And of course, it's meant for generally any open exhaust that you can lay on and get stuff burnt. So that's what mine is. I had my shoelace, unfortunately, kind of unravel, which is even dangerous when you're riding, and laid against my open exhaust right down here. Right there, that son of a bitch toasted right up against the exhaust. Price to pay when you have just this beautiful, look at this, just handmade exhaust. But we're gonna take care of that old black spot right there, get rid of it. In a kit that I've been researching, because I wanna do it one time, that's the whole goal, and also the less abrasive one that doesn't destroy your exhaust, and this seems to be about it. Everyone across the board uses it this way, which you can see right there. Let's, let's take a look. All right, we have the famous Easy Off Oven Cleaner. There are like three steps that you can use, like all of them pretty much pertaining not like the one direct way, just ways you wanna do it and how much time you have. The fast clean would be turning the bike on or turning your oven on into about 220 and then wiping it off within three minutes of putting the stuff on there. The cold one is the one we're gonna be doing today, which is we're gonna spray it, let it sit for 20 minutes, and then there's of course the easy overnight, which is just spray it, wait overnight, and hit it. So we're gonna try the cold ones, kind of the in-between. Spray it down, see what it does, and then of course scrub away with the wool steel pads with lemon fresh smelly stem. Look at that. All right, we're doing that. Got a gloves here, of course, that's what it says. Use gloves. I don't want any of this crap on my fingers because it pretty much removes all purities of oil, which is what it's meant to do. Um, probably like the brake cleaner of kitchen equipment is probably what I'm thinking this is gonna do. And like I said, gloves, rags, paper to go around because it's going to destroy anything that it essentially touches and we're going to try and keep everything intact. It also just hit 100 degrees here in Michigan. That's not common. It is extremely hot and humid. So I don't feel like turning the bike on and trying to work a hot on a hot exhaust. Not fun. Um, if you're down south or the west coast or possibly like Florida, I'm going to say like down south area, you probably have seen hundreds. That's normal. In Michigan, that isn't. It's like a polar bear meeting summer for the first time and it is whew, it's hot so let's get this exhaust cleaned up and good for summer all right we're gonna slide this paper behind the exhaust i probably could have removed the exhaust that would have made things a lot easier but well, that's all right that's for another time. So, there we go. That's good enough, right? Right there is where we're gonna hit it. Spraying away from everything else. Do a little fax run here. It's kinda like a gel almost that comes out. I'm just gonna hit a little bit more. All right. While that chemical reacts, I'll see you guys in 20 minutes. And we're back. All right, so some wild things have happened since the chemical has hit. It's been roughly 25 minutes, so I went a little bit longer than the 20. Now the other step it also says is to do the same stuff we're doing now, but let it sit over eight hours in the oven you're cleaning the oven, so same thing for this. But I think this did a number just in the 20 minutes. Pretty impressed. I wasn't expecting this much to change before I even wiped it. Let's take a look. Bam, look at that. Still all foamed up, yet to be wiped down. Look at all of that action. It's like melted the plastic. It's dripped down below the pipe now and has lifted the plastic up off the exhaust. So I'm hoping that we get a wipe and it takes off most of it. If not, we'll grab the pads, do a little scrubbing, see what it does. All right, 
first swipe. Whoa, look at that. Beautiful. That's awesome. Oh man. That's too cool. Something that shouldn't be that exciting is, that is just awesome. It took it right off. Wow. I mean, that part just needs to be polished now. Like I can take that apart out with the buffer, but it's gone, just like that. Without even turning the bike on 20 minutes. That is crazy. I thought I was gonna be doing some heavy scraping. All right. Let's do a little detail cleanup, see if we can't get it to polish up just a tad bit more. So the last little bit, chunks or whatnot, I just used my nail and it just allowed me to peel it right off. So that's nice. Now for the real trick, let's see if we can't get it a little polished up and see if it really came out. So overall, I mean, I just did a quick rundown with some polish on there. I mean, it's not, this is very poorly cleaning it. I actually use this against a buffer with this stuff, this compound, and it takes it right to back to the polish look here. And let's see if I can get some of it. It takes out like the stuff we're seeing there. That's not the plastic anymore. The uh, off, oven off cleaner removed it. That is fantastic. And anything else that was on there, I just scraped it with my nail and it removed it right off. So it worked. Just want to see if we can get it a little bit polished up just so you guys can tell the difference. And then I'm going to hit this, like I said, with the buffer and that will all come out. That's just part of the stainless steel or the stainless steel polish that I have that makes it look like a mirror finish on this exhaust here. So should have wiped a little bit harder, but just wanted to get it done enough to show the cleaning, like that time should be cleaned up. Beautiful. There you have it. The easy way to remove burnt plastic off your exhaust. If you've been staring at one spot that you have yet to try to go and do, cause you're thinking it's gonna be a long, tedious process. Hopefully this video makes it even easier for you. That product, once again, that I use, I am not sponsored at all by these, but I am very, very happy with this product. Easy off, killed it on that. Didn't even have to scrub it, didn't have to use the SO pads. I can return those. I can actually go back to the grocery store and give them back. I don't need them anymore. The exhaust looks good. I just need to take the exhaust off, bring it back to a mirror polish, and we're good to go. That's it for this one, guys. If you have made it all the way through, I would greatly appreciate it if you could hit the subscribe button, tap that like, press that notification, leave a comment below, tell me what you think. And for those that have already subscribed, thank you. And as always, stay free. I'll catch you guys later. Mm -hmm.